We start the referees seminar and here is the list of the agenda of the items we are going to present to you and the presenters for each subject, each item. The first section is general referee duties and powers and in this part uh, I will present uh, all your duties and powers. This is a kind of summary and for all details we will go later on in each part. So if you will not be happy with uh, the explanation during this part, just uh, remember that every part later on uh, will be dedicated for separate uh, duties and powers and subjects for the referee. So this is a su summary and uh, combine all general referees' duties and powers. There are a lot, I must say. Who is the referee? The referee is the most important person on the panel. We have officials uh, for the event, we have judges, we have uh, technical panel, technical controller, specialists, we have uh, data replay operators and the referee. And the referee is a person uh, in charge of the event in relation to all questions and decisions referred to the ISU regulations. If anything happens during the competition, referee is a person who will speak in the name of all officials and the referee is the person to whom any problems should come to. The referee has a lot of duties and powers and uh, I think that uh, everybody before uh, this, uh, decides to um, become a referee must take a personal decision because you must have uh, special abilities to become a referee. It's not that everybody can be a referee. You can be an excellent judge, but uh, you will not have all the abilities which the referee should have. So when we go through, I think you then you can answer yourself. I know that everybody who is here <laughs> is coming to take part at the exam, and that's great. But try to answer yourself if all the duties and powers which are here and all ability what you should have, you have. So, the referee must have excellent technical knowledge. That's clear. Must keep themselves up to date on rule changes and content have a clear understanding of the most recent rules to be able to provide to judges appropriate and clear information about any relevant changes in current general regulations, special regulation, technical rules, IC communication, handbooks, questions and answers, every, every one document which relates to your discipline, to figure skating. Another ability is leadership must efficiently manage the event in a professional manner, should create a positive environment for judging. Uh, you know, the judges are enough stressed coming for competition. And uh, I think that uh, uh, this is a very important duty of the referee uh, to, um, to keep the uh, atmosphere that they are not relaxed because competition is not time to relax, but they feel comfortable. Planning and organizing skills should develop skills such as sport management and organization. You are a person who is organizing and managing all the panel. So you must have this ability and uh, this uh, um, uh, uh, this kind of um, uh, ability to planning and organizing all, uh, all duties during the competition, before the competition, after the competition. Arrive at competitions fully prepared to act as a referee. Very important. It's not that you get an invitation to a competition and you say, OK, so uh, in uh, three days I'm going for competition. And you just go without any preparation. You can be surprised when you come how many things you had to do.
do before you are going for competition. So, first of all, check carefully announcement. In the announcement, you have dates for initial judges meeting, roundtable discussion. Don't buy your ticket before the roundtable discussion is finished or arrive after the initial judges meeting because you are responsible to conduct all these meetings. So check carefully. Check schedules for meetings, practices and events. Review rules and communications and take stopwatch with you and whistle. And uh, of course, organizers uh, should provide you the stopwatch. But you know, uh, don't lose time to learn how the new stopwatch works. Better to have your own and you know you don't lose time for learning how to start, how to stop. Just better to have your own. Ensure that advanced preparation is complete for various administrative aspects of the competition, such as judges meeting script, draws rule, operation of the referee screen, timing of warm-ups, timing of programs, referee report file. The referee must have another uh, responsibility and duty. Interpersonal com communication. Must have a good verbal ability of English language. Develop and maintain effective relationship with all groups associated with skating. Show respect for the opinions of others even when this may be different from one's of own opinions. It's particularly for the round table discussion when you're discussing um, differences in marks. Maybe you have different opinion, but listen to the judges. Listen why they have a different opinion. Maybe you haven't noticed something and maybe the uh, referee, the judge's mark is correct. So respect the different opinions uh, even, even, even you think that your is really uh, the right one. Provide constructive feedback when appropriate or when requested. So these are interpersonal communication. Now written communication and reporting. It's not enough to have a verbal ability of English. You have a, must have a good writing ability of English language write accurate, timely, and useful reports so that ICU Technical Committee are provided with clear information on which to base any decision. And uh, the report will be discussed, the referee's report will be discussed later on, but I can tell you that every one technical uh, uh, referee's report and technical control reports as well, uh, referee's report is read from the beginning to the end. Everyone and your comments, your remarks in uh, the report are very, very important. Uh, we take into consideration when we are uh, discussing uh, the changes for the following season, we take into consideration when you are writing about uh, uh, the uh, um, organization of, uh, uh, of the uh, competition. So uh, it's really very important document what we are receiving from you. And you're the only one who are at the competition. We are not in many uh, international competitions. But how to write it carefully, perfect, then we will discuss later, no, later on. The referee conducts himself in a fair and unbiased manner at all times and adhere fully to the ISU Code of Ethics. The updated Code of Ethics is public in communication 20 to 15, and uh, I'm sure that uh, during uh, the last season uh, you had uh, an occasion to go through the uh, communication. This code looks to the honesty and integrity of the person to whom it applies. Referees' uh, duties, when you're coming to competition, you have a lot to do. Referee checks all eligibility rules. What are eligibility rules? 
age restrictions. If you go for novice competition or junior competition or CEO competition, you must know what is uh, the permitted age for competing at this uh, level of, of skaters. Edges qualification. If you are at uh, international competition, you know that the international, at least international level, can uh, take part in your panel for judges. But there is an exception. If the number of judges present is in as insufficient to compose the panel at international competition, one national judge from the host ISU member may be used, but only one international from the host member. It's not that one coming from the, another member and say, okay, you, you need one more judge, I can judge. No, only from the host member. The other thing what you have to check is the ISU clearance certificate. This is ISU allowance to represent the member federation. Uh, now we have uh, many cases when the skater represents different uh, member federation that he has a passport or he was uh, skating uh, the last season for. But your obligation is to check if uh, he has ICU clearance to participate with this member he is um, registered for. The accuracy of calculation software. This is the last update version uh, which should be used uh, during that competition. All these obligations to check is usually at international competition. At ISU competition, there is event coordinator who is responsible to check all this. So <laughs> you have less job at ISU events where the event coordinator is present. But at international competition, this is your responsibility. So uh, just to, that you have an idea how uh, these documents look like. This is um, calculation, uh, accuracy of calculation software. Uh, this is a summary for all disciplines. And uh, uh, you have, uh, I don't know if you can hear, see, yes. Okay, so here is the last updates and the numbers. And everyone has its own number. Uh, this is the general. Then you have a detailed accuracy of calculation software. And this tells you everything about your discipline. Again, you have the date, the number of, uh, of the last update. Where can you find it? It's good if you can publish it, uh, print it, uh, before you're going for competition. So you come with the last update and then you check whether it's the one uh, which is on the website. The other document, what we said, is confirmation of the organizing committee, uh, organizing member for international competition. This document you are getting from the organizers and uh, it must be filled here by organizers. All this part belongs to you and both signs must be in. And this later on we will be talking about, uh, this should be attached uh, to your report. The referee's duty is to conduct with the help of technical controller or draws for starting order. Uh, adjust the draw groups and the warm-up groups in case of any withdrawals or tight skaters. And uh, it's, it's a very important rule. When you come for the draw, uh, you must have an update. Usually it's after the short program, rhythm dance, uh, a short program in synchro, when some skaters are withdrawn. So you must quickly calculate how uh, it will look like uh, uh, the groups for the draw. But if the withdrawal is announced after the draw for the starting order of the following segment, then the starting order and the warm-up groups will not be changed and the spot of the withdrawal competition remains empty. 
So we have five skaters in the group, but one was withdrawn after the draw. The four skaters are with the group, and we are not changing the groups for the competition after the, if the withdrawal is after the draw. Judges, uh, um, <laughs> the referee must judge the complete event. When, uh, particularly in nice dance, the referee has a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of duty. There's, he has, he's so busy. I, I don't know whether uh, four hands and uh, six eyes will be enough. Uh, but we have to <laughs> we, fact, we have to survive with that. So a part of every duty what you have around, you have to judge and complete uh, the complete the whole event. Uh, you have to judge because during the mm, roundtable discussion, you must know what was going on on ice when you were discussing the joeys or components. You must have your own opinion uh, to. Um, even to, to compare with that what uh, you think maybe is uh, not correct. So you have to judge. Conducts the initial judges meeting, roundtable discussion, and manages the panel of judges. The details of both meetings will be discussed later on. Checks the duration of warm-up periods. And... Uh, um, I think it's very important when you're going for competition, particularly international, and you have all categories and you referee for uh, junior men, uh, senior pairs, uh, uh, novice ice dance. Everyone has different warm-up period and everyone has different number of skaters permitted for the warm-up. So better if you check all this before you are going for competition or, at, or you are already at the competition, but before you start your event. Because you at the international, particularly at the international competition, you're responsible to check the warm-up and the numbers of skaters. I think I had some examples when, uh, particularly in junior competition, suddenly I have seven, ten skaters on ice, <laughs> and then you have to check who can be, and the rest, unfortunately, has to wait for the, the, their warm-up. Uh, in communication uh, 20 to 42, you have all requirements for novice and all warm-ups. Here you have for a single skating and uh, uh, for basic novice, intermediate and advanced uh, novice skaters. How is in uh, uh, in synchro? In synchro, ice skating is a little bit different. Uh, we have only one minute per team authorized. So that's the point. Okay, it's easier. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, in ice dance, it's uh, of course more complicated. And uh, at the last congress, uh, we had um, changed uh, the uh, warm up for pattern dances. Now uh, there is three minutes, and within three minutes, there are 30 seconds without music, and uh, two uh, minutes and 30 seconds with the music. And we increase the number of couples on ice, so now six couples. For uh, free dance, for no all novice categories, we reduce uh, the time to three minutes and increase the number of couples to five. And the rest stays without any changes. So this warm up. Now, during the competition, times uh, the duration needed by competitor to take the starting position and decides upon subsequent possible withdrawal or deductions. You know that the skater has 30 seconds to come to the starting position. So you are responsible. Um, at uh, the ICU competitions, uh, you have this um, uh, watch on the screen, but uh, the official time is yours. So if you check and you decide that it was over 30 seconds, that is your time is official. Takes necessary actions related to delayed start or restart, including instructing the person in charge of music to stop or restart the music of the competitor. 
the details and uh, all the situations uh, which are described in Rule 515 will be presented later on by Fabio. So uh, I think that uh, this is a difficult rule. So I hope that everything uh, will be clarified, if possible, <laughs> of course. Uh, decides whether the conditions of ICE uh, permits holding of the event. Check ICE conditions before each event. When it can happen. Uh, I can just tell you about my experience. Uh, there was a heavy raining outside and the roof was um, had some holes in the roof. And the rain was just going through. And on ice, you suddenly you had these big bubbles. So you it's, it's really unsecure for skaters. And you're responsible for security for skaters. So what you have to do, you have to fix it. I know that it's difficult to repair the roof, but at least uh, before every uh, warm up or when you see that the bubble is growing up before the skater starts to skate, just ask uh, somebody from the organizing committee to, uh, to fix it. That's what I had. I, I'm sure you have many other examples uh, when you had to, um, to alter or to uh, make a shape of ice um, uh, or to fix something on ice uh, before the event or even during the event. Uh, I think uh, I, I was told by one referee that uh, in last year in Finlandia Trophy there was a very interesting situation when suddenly uh, from, um, from the roof or from uh, the lamp somewhere under the roof started to come uh, confetti, the, the small paper on ice. Because there was a bird which was flying, I think Allah was there, which was flying uh, around the, the roof. And uh, then the small confetti started to fall down on ice. You as a referee, again, you're responsible. <laughs> How to fix it, I don't know, but uh, uh, you have to at least clean the ice. Alters the shape and size of skating surface uh, if... Uh, unfavorable uh, circumstances arise. Except in agreement with organizing member or affiliated club, another ring for holding of the event. This is extreme situation, of course, but it could happen. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I'm not lucky, but I had this kind of situation. It was many, many years ago in Germany uh, when suddenly uh, the... Um, uh, the cooling machine, I don't know the name, exactly the ma name, <laughs> was broken. And the, the uh, ice started to melt. So one group was okay, second was uh, difficult, but third was impossible to skate. So we had to decide uh, to stop the competition. And uh, we were lucky because there was not far away another ice rink. So <laughs> uh, in uh, two hours they uh, manage everything and we could move the competition to another ice rink. But that's your decision, and you have to work with the organizing committee in this situation. Times with the assistance of timekeeper, the program has skated possible interruptions, dance lifts in ice dance. Times the tempo of pattern dance music chosen by couples and the tempo of specified parts of the rhythm dance. You see, ice dance. <laughs> How many ice dance referees we have? Show with the hand. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> uh, decides upon the deduction according to rule 353, para 1 for the following violations. Program time, violation, pattern dance program time, late start, interruptions in performing the program, interruptions of program with allowance of up to three minutes to resume from the point of interruption. You remember I told you that details will be discussed later on. That's a summary. Next, part of costume decoration falls on ice. Dance lifts exceeding permitted duration, only ice dance. In synchro, do you count the duration of dance? No, they can do as long as they want. Okay, oh, that's good. <laughs> Tempo specification, ice dance only. These are in responsibility only for the referee. 
but you have also deductions which you apply with the judges and the majority decides whether the uh, deduction is applied or not, together with the panel of judges. Costume and prop violation, violation of music requirements, violation of choreographic restrictions. Last two, only for ice dance. Now, that's a nice part. I think uh, I enjoy always, always participates in the victory ceremony and decides upon all protests. That's not so nice, but uh, you have to deal with that. But uh, I think Georgie will explain with details how you have to, have to go through this uh, not very pleasant situation. Referee is obliged to prepare a report on the event and the report of the event will be presented later on. So if you will have any questions, how to feel, what to feel, I think everything will be clarified. And uh, that's the end of this section.